Hi, it's me, Teacher Jean. In this lesson, you will learn about Add and Subtract Rational Algebraic Expressions. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Add and Subtract Rational Algebraic Expressions with Unlike or Different Denominators. We need to recall adding or subtracting fractions, loss of exponents, how to get the LCM or least common multiple, operations on integers, multiplying polynomials, factoring polynomials, and last, simplifying rational algebraic expressions. Think about this. What is the least common multiple of 4 and 8? So we need to list all of them. For 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. For 8, we have 8, 16, 24, and so on. As you noticed, 8 is common to both of them and also 16. But when we say least common multiple, from the word least means the smallest common multiple. So the least common multiple must be 8. The other way of getting the LCM is using the prime factorization, which is also used in getting the greatest common factor or GCF. But what is the difference between them? Now take note that getting the LCM is the same way or process of getting the LCD. And here, we bring down or include and multiply also the relatively prime or no common factor. But in the greatest common factor, we only multiply the common factors. So for the LCD, we have 8 and for the greatest common factor, we have 4. Now let's have another given. What is the least common multiple of 24 and 120? For 24, we have 24, 48, 72, 96, 120, and so on. For 120, we have 120, 240, 360, and so on. Now, as you notice, the least common multiple there is 120. Now, for bigger or larger number, we can use the other method. Now, for the LCD, we're going to multiply the common divisors and also the relatively prime. So, we get 120. For the greatest common factor, we only multiply the common divisors. So, we have the greatest common factor, which is 24. For warm-up, let's find the LCD of the following rational expressions. For number 1, the given is 5 over 9x cubed y and 10 over 3xy squared. So, we're going to get the LCD on the given denominators. So, we have 9x cubed y and 3xy squared. 9x cubed y in the expanded form is equal to 3 times 3 times x times x times x times y. And 3xy squared in the expanded form is equal to 3 times x times y times y. Then we're going to bring down the common factors and also the relatively prime factors. So we have the following 3 times 3 times x times x times x times y times y. So multiply the result is 9x cubed y squared, which is considered the LCD. Now, as you notice, the variables with the highest exponent is considered the LCD. So, if we're going to compare x cubed and x, x cubed is the variable with the highest exponent. If we're going to compare y and y squared, y squared is the variable with the highest exponent. For number 2, given 2x over x plus 3 and x squared over x minus 3. So here, we're going to get the LCD on the denominators. So what are the denominators? So we have x plus 3 is a prime. So therefore, we just copy x plus 3. x minus 3 is also a prime. Therefore, we just copy x minus 3. Then, we're going to bring down all of them and multiply. So the LCD is... The quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3. Now, as you notice, the denominators have no common factor. Therefore, the product of them are considered the least common denominator. 
For number 3, we have x over 4x squared minus 1 and x squared plus 5 all over 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Now, we're going to get the LCD using all the denominators. So, for the first denominator, we have 4x squared minus 1 can be factored as the quantity 2x plus 1 times the quantity 2x minus 1. So, that is difference of 2 squares. And the factor is the product of sum and difference of 2 terms. For 2x squared minus 5x, minus 3, we can use the magic x. We have 2 times negative 3, that is your ac, we have negative 6. Then the middle term is negative 5. Then factor negative 6, if you're going to subtract, the result is negative 5. So we have 1 times negative 6, and the result is negative 5. Then divide both sides with the leading coefficient 2. So 1 divided by 2 is considered the lowest term. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So therefore, 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to the quantity 2x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 3. Then we're going to bring down the common factor and the prime factors. Then multiply all of them, then use parentheses that denotes multiplication. So the LCD is the quantity 2x plus 1 times the quantity 2x minus 1 times the quantity x minus 3. Dissimilar fractions are fractions that have different or unlike denominators. Examples are 2 over 3, 3 over 5, 6 over 7, 8 over 11, and so on. As you noticed, we have different or unlike denominators. Before we proceed on our lesson, let's have first a recall on adding and subtracting fractions with unlike or different denominators. So given 3 over 4 plus 2 over 3, for the solution, we're going to change it into similar fractions. So we're going to think of a number that if you're going to multiply on the denominator, they will become same or equal denominator. So for 3 over 4, we can multiply 3 over 3. And for 2 over 3, we can multiply 4 over 4. So in multiplying fractions, we can multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. And 3 times 4 is also equal to 12. Now as you noticed, we have the same or like denominator. So we can add the numerator 9 plus 8, then we copy the common denominator 12. So 9 plus 8 is equal to 17 over 12. And that is considered improper fraction, so we need to change it into mixed number. So simply divide 17 divided by 12, the result is 1 and 5 over 12. For the other solution, we can use the butterfly method or the cross multiplication. Given 3 over 4 plus 2 over 3, we can cross multiply 3 times 3 that is equal to 9. Cross multiply 4 times 2 that is equal to 8. Then multiply 4 times 3 that is equal to 12. Then add the numerator 9 plus 8. Then copy the denominator 12. So 9 plus 8 is equal to 17 over 12 or 1 and 5 over 12. Now take note, it's better to use butterfly or cross multiplication if there is no common on the denominator. So in any method, we come up the same answer. To add or subtract rational expressions with unlike or different denominators, first, find the least common denominator or LCD. Second, change to similar fractions. Third, add or subtract the numerators and copy the denominator. And for the last, simplify or reduce the result to its lowest if possible. For you to understand, let's have the following examples. Given number 1, 2 over AB plus 3 over A squared plus 4 over BC. First, we're going to find the least common denominator or LCD. So given the denominators AB, A squared, and BC. So factor AB that is equal to A times B. Factor A squared that is equal to A times A. Factor BC that is equal to B times C. Then, encircle and bring down the common factors and the relatively prime. Multiply A times times a times b times c, the result is a squared bc, and that is considered your LCD. Now, as you notice, if you're going to compare a and a squared, a squared is the variable having the highest exponent. Then, we're going to change to similar fractions. So, we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator by a number or variable to make them similar fractions. Now, to get that, simply divide LCD, a squared bc, divided by the denominator AB, and the result is AC. Then, LCD, A squared, BC, divided by A squared, the result is 
BC. Then A squared, BC divided by BC, the result is A squared. In multiplying fractions, we're going to multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So 2 times AC is equal to 2AC. AB times AC is equal to A squared BC. Then 3 times BC is equal to 3BC. A squared times BC is equal to A squared BC. Then 4 times A squared is equal to 4A squared. BC times A squared is equal to A squared BC. As you notice, the denominators are already similar or same denominators, which is the LCD A squared BC. Then we're going to add the numerator. The result is 2AC plus 3BC plus 4A squared. Then copy the common denominator A squared BC. And that is considered the final answer because there is no common factor to be cancelled. For number 2, we have 3 over x plus 2 plus 5 over x minus 2. So first, we're going to find the least common denominator or LCD. So given the denominators, x plus 2 is a prime and x minus 2 is also a prime. So just bring down x plus 2 and x minus 2 and use parentheses that denotes multiplication. So the LCD is the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. So if the denominators have no in common, we can use the cross multiplication. We can cross multiply 3 times the quantity x minus 2 plus 5 times the quantity x plus 2. All over, multiply the denominator, we have quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. Then use distributive property. We're going to distribute 3 to the first term x, then on the second term negative 2. Then we're going to distribute also 5 on the first term x and on the second term 2. Then add the numerator. All over, quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. For the numerator, we're going to combine similar terms. So we have 3x and 5x, 10 and negative 6. So 3x plus 5x is equal to 8x. 10 minus 6 is equal to positive 4. All over the denominator quantity x plus 2 times quantity x minus 2. Then factor the numerator. We have the common monomial factor which is 4. So factor out 4. We have the remaining 2x plus 1. All over the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. Cancel all common factors. Now as you noticed, we have no common factor on numerator and on the denominator. So that is considered the final answer. For number 3, we have 2 over 2x plus 4 minus 5a over x squared plus 2x. First, we're going to find the least common denominator or LCD given the denominators 2x plus 4 and x squared plus 2x. So for 2x plus 4, we're going to factor out the common monomial factor 2 times the remaining factor x plus 2. Then for x squared plus 2x, we're going to factor out the common monomial factor which is x times the remaining factor x plus 2. Then bring down the common factor and also the relatively prime. So we have 2 times x times the quantity x plus 2. So simplify 2 times x, that is 2x times the quantity x plus 2, which is your LCD. Then change to similar fractions. Now take note, we need to rewrite the given that the denominator is in the factored form. So we have 2 over 2 times the quantity x plus 2 minus 5a over x times the quantity x plus 2. Now if you're going to divide LCD 2x times the quantity x plus 2 divided by 2, times the quantity x plus 2, we have the remaining x. Then LCD 2x times the quantity x plus 2 divided by x times the quantity x plus 2, we have the remaining 2. Then simplify, 2 times x is equal to 2x. Then 2 times the quantity x plus 2 times x is equal to 2x times the quantity x plus 2. Then negative 5a times 2, that is negative 10a, over x times the quantity x plus 2 times 2, that is equal to 2x times the quantity x plus 2. Now, as you noticed, we have the same or like denominators, which is the LCD 2x times the quantity x plus 2. So, we can subtract the numerator.
numerator. And the result is 2x minus 10a all over, copy the common denominator, 2x times the quantity x plus 2. Then, factor the numerator, we have the common monomial factor 2 times the remaining x minus 5a all over the denominator 2x times the quantity x plus 2. Then, cancel all the common factors. We have there 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Then simplify, we have x minus 5a all over x times the quantity x plus 2. Or x minus 5a all over x squared plus 2x. And that is the final answer. For number 4, we have x plus 7 all over 4x squared minus 9 minus x plus 1 all over 2x minus 3. So first, we're going to find the least common denominator or LCD. Given the denominators, 4x squared minus 9 and 2x minus 3. 4x squared minus 9 is the difference of two squares. So the factor is the product of the sum in difference of two terms. So we have the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3. Then 2x minus 3 is considered a prime, so we just copy quantity 2x minus 3 and align the common. Then bring down the common factor 2x minus 3 and also prime the quantity 2x plus 3. So the result is the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3 which is your LCD. Then we're going to change the expression to similar fractions. Now take note, we're going to rewrite the given that the denominator is in the factored form. So we have x plus 7 all over the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3 minus x plus 1 all over 2x minus 3. Now, as you notice, the denominator of the first expression is already the LCD. But the denominator on the second term, we need to divide the LCD, the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3 divided by 2x minus 3. The remaining is 2x plus 3 that we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator. So first, we're going to copy x plus 7 all over the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3, then multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, and the result is negative times the quantity x plus 1 times the quantity 2x plus 3 all over the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3. So as you notice, the denominators are already the same, which is the LCD. Now on the numerator, quantity x plus 1 times quantity 2x plus 3, we're going to use the FOIL method. And we're going to subtract the numerator. And the result is x plus 7 minus the product of the quantity quantity x plus 1 times the quantity 2x plus 3 using FOIL method is the quantity 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. All over, we copy the common denominator which is the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3. Then, we're going to use distributive property. We're going to distribute the minus or negative to each term of the trinomial. And the result is x plus 7 minus 2, x squared minus 5x minus 3, all over the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3. Then, we're going to combine similar terms. So, we have x and negative 5x, 7 and negative 3. So, first, we copy negative 2x squared. Then, x minus 5x is equal to negative 4x. 7 minus 3 is equal to positive 4. All over the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3. Then, we're going to factor the numerator. So, we have there the common monomial factor, negative 2 times the remaining x squared plus 2x minus 2. All over the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity 2x minus 3. And for the last, cancel all common factors. And as you can see, there is no common factor to be canceled. Therefore, that is the final answer. Now, it's your turn to it yourself. Perform the indicated operations given the unlike or different denominators. Don't forget to comment down below your answers. Happy learning! Thanks for watching! Please like and share! And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. Maraming salamat!